Hi everyone, welcome to the first episode of the Lama Index and Weebia Integration. In this video, I'll be going over an overview of what Lama Index is, go over the various data loaders that they have hosted on the Lama Hub, then I'll share how to load data in a Weaviate using Llama Index, and then how to connect Llama Index to your already existing Weaviate instance. Um, I also share a few ways to run Weaviate um, if you're not familiar, so you can use Weaviate Embedded, uh, use WCS, which allows you to have uh, to run a 14-day free sandbox, and then also how to run it on Docker, so running it locally. Um, so these are just a few options that you can use to run Weaviate and also get started with your application with using Weaviate and Llama Index together. Um, and then I'll also share this in the Weaviate recipes. Um, I'll include a link in the description, but this is really where I just share an end-to-end -end, uh, notebook on a few features that we have in Weaviate, but then also with our um, integration partners as well. All right, so let's jump into the video. This is the notebook that I'll be sharing under the Weaviate Recipes repository. So make sure you follow along and go under Integrations, Llama Index, Episode 1, and then you can follow along from there. So this is the overview that I already went over. So I want to dive right into what Llama Index is. Uh, so Llama Index is a framework that enables you to connect LLMs and storage providers together. And when I say storage providers, I am referencing Weaviate, the open source vector database. Um, so why Llama Index and Weaviate together make the ultimate retrieval augmented generation stack is because large language models don't have access to your specific data. But when you use Llama Index and Weaviate together, you're essentially supplying the LLM with the data that is stored in your database. So this is allowing you to make queries that are specific to your company. Like, uh, how long do I have to give my company my resignation letter? Or that was maybe a horrible example, but you kind of, you get the gist. Um, so one cool thing about Llama Index is their Llama Hub. So it it's, um, it's a hub that has all of the various data loaders, whether this be Slack, uh, PDF documents, YouTube, Notion, which I show in this demo, uh, PowerPoints, essentially all of these different data sources can be fed into your vector database. And that is the first part that I show is how to load data into Weaviate using Llama Index, and then also the other way around. Um, so with that being said, let's get into the demo. So for those of you that don't have an existing Weebie instance running, there are three options to get this started. Um, so you can use Weebie Embedded, which allows you to run it directly in your application. The only requirement is that your Weebie Python client is up to date. So just make sure it's at minimum 3.21 and then running Weebie Embedded will work. If not, there are a few other options if that maybe isn't the best uh, way for you to do that. Uh, the other option is using our WeV Cloud service. Um, so you can create an account and then from there create a Weaviate instance. And what's really cool about this is that it's a 14 day free sandbox, um, which really allows you to get started and like test the waters with vector databases. Um, so that's one option. So run it completely free and then also embedded and Docker also free. So whichever way, whichever method works for you best. Um, so once you create your Weebie instance in the console, uh, you'll pass in your URL right here. Um, so I have my Llama index episode one uh, working and then you pass in your open AI key here and for security and financial reasons, I have it hidden. Um, and then also if you create your a sandbox and it has authorization, you can also pass it in right here. Um, but for this demo, I don't have that enabled. Lastly, you can run Weaviate using Docker. So within this uh, Llama index folder, I have a YAML file and you could just grab that, run it, and then it will, should be work, working <laughs> and running at localhost 8080. So those are like three options to run Weebeat if you don't already have a Weebeat instance running. Another requirement to get Weebeat set up is to build out your schema. Um, so what I'm doing here in this uh, cell is just building my blog post class, and then I'm passing in my content property. And what the content is, is just a text that is within each blog post. And I guess I didn't make this clear before, but I'm using the Weebeat blogs as my data set. 
Um, so yeah, make sure you check that out as well. Adding data to Weave V8 using Llama Index is actually super easy using their various data loaders. Uh, so in this video, I'm covering three uh, ways to load in data using the simple directory reader, but then also the web page reader, and then loading in documents from Notion. But if you want to use maybe Slack or PDFs or YouTube videos, I'd recommend going to Llama Hub because you can see like the various ways to use those data loaders. Okay, so starting off with the simple directory reader, what this is doing is just reading files in your file system. Um, so I have all of the Weave 8 blog posts in my data folder, and I'm just going to load that in as easy as that. The next way to do this as well is using the simple web page reader. So it's a web scraper that turns HTML to text. Uh, so just to show you, to give you a feel of how to do this, um, I just passed in the Weave 8 blog and then the Llama Index and Weave 8 blog post and uh, an easy way to load in data from websites. The other option is to use the Notion page reader. So it loads documents in from Notion. And why this is so cool is because you can actually convert Notion documents into Markdown. And I'm not sure if that's like a new feature or maybe I've been under a rock, but that's really cool because now you don't have to go through the manual effort of converting blog posts that are on Google or maybe Notion as well and converting that into Markdown. So this is a really cool option if you want to give that a try. Uh, so what the Notion page reader is doing is using your integration token. So if you're a workspace owner or admin, you can create an integration and then you'll just pass in your secret key here. Next, what the page ID is, so if you go to notion.so and then navigate to the document that you want to load in, the URL will end with this code mixed of numbers and letters, and then you'll just paste that into here. And then it's as easy as that to load in documents from Notion, which is great. Now that we have our data, we're going to want to chunk it up so we don't run into the limited token length problem. Uh, so Llama Index has a simple node parser, and what this is doing is just chunking up your data, so our blog posts in this demo, into nodes. Next, we're going to want to take those nodes and upload it to Weave8. Um, so by doing that, we need to construct our vector store. Um, so here we have our Weave8 client and just setting that equal to client, which is either if you ha are running it with embedded, um, with a WCS instance, or locally. You're just going to want to connect that Weave8 instance to, uh, you're going to want to connect that Weave8 instance here to construct the vector store. And then what the index name is, is just the class that we created. So in our example, we are using blog post, which we defined in our schema. And then we have text key, which is content. And that's the property that we defined in the schema as well. Now we want to uh, set up the storage for our embeddings. Uh, so what we're doing is just passing in the vector store, which we just defined here because we're using the Weave 8 database. Next, we just want to set up the index. Uh, so we're just taking the nodes and then setting up that storage uh, equal to what we had just defined here. And that's really the last step that you need to get started with uploading data into Weave 8 using Llama Index. Now that we have our data, in our Weavey instance, I want to build a simple query engine. Um, so I'm doing this by setting, by using the index that we just built and passing in my query. So I'm asking, what is the intersection between LLMs and search? And where I want this to retrieve this information from is from my Weavey database. And to be a little bit more specific, I want it to fetch the blog post where I'm talking about LLMs and search. And Connor and I just published that blog post maybe like a few weeks back. Um, so it's uh, kind of interesting to see how it answers this. So it's saying that the intersection between LLMs and search is the ability to use LLMs to improve search capabilities such as RAG, query understanding, index, construction, LLMs and re-ranking, etc. If you'd like to actually read the blog post, I'd recommend checking it out. But it's really cool how you can build such a simple uh, engine with Llama Index. The other option is to query using the Weave 8 console. So up here, I'm connecting to my Weave 8 instance. And then I'm just running a simple hybrid search. And for those of you who aren't familiar with what hybrid search is, it's taking BM25, which is keyword search, and vector search and combining it together. And it's doing this weighting by this alpha parameter. So alpha set to zero, it's pure BM25, and alpha set to one, 
it is pure vector search. Um, so setting it to 0 0.75 or 75%, it's skewing more towards pure vector search. But this is just something that you can toy around with for your application. Uh, but for this, I just set it to 0 0.75. All right, so once it to, um, what it's going to return is the content, so just the text that is within the blog post. And again, my query is the intersection between LLMs and search. So I want it to grab the blog posts that where we talk about this, and it's doing exactly that here. Um, so it's passing in, or it's uh, outputting the LLMs and search blog post, which is great. Another thing to note is that you can pass in your OpenAI key in the header down here because we need to vectorize our query. And yeah, that's it. That's one way to vectorize, or sorry, that's one way to query in Llama Index and in Weaviate. For those of you who already have your Weaviate instance running and you just want to add Llama Index to it, this is the way to do it. So you just want to use the Weaviate reader, which you can actually see the documentation on this in the Llama Hub, um, or just follow along with this notebook. Uh, but you want to connect to WCS or pass in your localhost 8080 if you're using Docker. Um, so you just sign in with your username and password and then pass in the URL to your Weaviate instance. And then documents, what this is, is just your schema. Um, so I'm taking my blog post class and then passing in my content uh, property. Now that I have run that, you can now um, query, or you can now upload and query the existing class that you already have all set. Um, so I'm again passing in the URL so that my WeBeat reader knows which instance to connect to, and then I'm building out my query. So I want blog post about that explain what ref to vec is, and I want it to search on the content property, limiting it to two and only outputting the content. All right, so now that I have my documents, I need to build out the index, and then I simply just run my uh, query engine. So again, I'm asking, what is ref to vec And it says, ref to vec is a machine learning algorithm that uses NLP to generate vector representation of text references. Um, that's a little debatable, but <laughs> it was able to answer. So that's one way to query in uh, Llama index, but then again, you can also query in the console. So if I ask in the console, what is ref to vec using near text, passing in my open AI key because we need to vectorize that, you can see that it will output the blog post that is about ref to vec and why you need it for your recommendation system. Um, so if you'd like to learn more about what ref to vec is, I recommend checking out our documentation. Thanks so much for watching the first episode of the Weaviate and Llama Index integration. Uh, stay tuned for future videos where I'll be covering how you can build more advanced guides with using Llama Index and Movie together to really build that ultimate rag stack. Uh, and then also, if you'd like to follow along with the notebook, don't forget to head over to the Weebly Recipes repository um, where you can download this notebook in particularly, or also just learn more about various features in Weebly 8. Uh, again, I cover end-to-end -end, uh, notebook demos in that repository, and then also make sure you like and subscribe and tune in for the next video. Bye!